Okay, so we are at the beauty supply store. They just opened like 15 minutes ago and this is the time that I wanted to come because I need to be able to look around and get exactly what I want. So I need, <laughs> I need needle and thread, honey. I need bleach, more bleach. I got my foils already from the dollar store. Um, I, I need a closure and, or a frontal. I want a frontal. If I can't find one in my price range, I'm getting a closure. Okay, so I got everything that I needed. Um, the goal was to spend $65 and I spent $69, but only because I needed way more stuff than I thought I did. Like I literally had like nothing. I had to get more bleach and more developers. So now we're good. Um, I shouldn't need anything else. So if this doesn't come out good, <laughs> um, yeah, I don't even know. The frontal that I got is like, I got the more expensive one. There was one for like 40 bucks and I was like, the lace on this is disgusting. So I got a better quality one. It was only $48, which is not that bad. I was, the goal was to spend around $50 on the frontal soap. Okay, so I have bleached the knots. <laughs> yeah, um, the only part that I missed was like right at the widow's peak, which is kind of important. I'll probably just do it again. Um, but <laughs> this is how they bleached the, the hair is really soft. I got the um, pink lemon 13 by 4, 14 inch body wave, Remy, whatever, unprocessed virgin hair frontal from my beauty supply store. It was $48, I think, something like that. Um, not that bad. Um, there was some in there for like 90 bucks, so I, I didn't eat all of that. So this is what I got. <laughs> I felt like 14 inches was a good length for the length of the hair that I have because it is like 16 inches or something like that. So this is what it looks like wet. It was really soft when I took it out the package so that was very um, pleasing. Honestly it feels better than the hair that I'm using to make the wig. So we'll see how this goes. Okay so our needle is threaded and I am about to start sewing y'all. Wish me luck. Ooh wee. Okay. First stitch. Did this go all the way through? I didn't hit my, I didn't even hit my knot. This was kind of, okay. So I'm going to make a small knot and I'm stitching this very close together. I stopped watching after this because at this point I kind of know what I'm doing, but um yeah i just wanted to get make sure that i put the frontal on there correctly because i've seen it done multiple different ways and i personally have never done it myself and i want my wig to fit so <laughs> i'm making a loop and now we're gonna start our stitching all the way across now that we have a nice strong foundation um hopefully this knot is not too big and obnoxious when um all was said and done hopefully it'll be okay um, but yep, I'm about to stitch. Okay, y'all, so my frontal is sewn down. I follow the directions, so if it's not right, I don't know. So I just stole some of my nephew's chalk. Um, I'm going to mark out where I want my tracks to be. I don't even know if I should really go up this far. I should put it a little bit lower than that. Let's go about right here. This hair is thin, so um, there was, I think I used all, every single bit of them three bundles. Okay, so <laughs> this is funny. This is how I marked out my cat. It don't look that bad on camera, but that is my my little ghetto um, pathway. I already sewed on one, um, 
excuse me, on one track in the back. And like I said, I'm literally deconstructing this and putting the hair onto here. So it's going to take me a smooth second to do this um, because I do have to take apart another wig. And I really could rip these off, but let me not do that. Okay, y'all. So it's been like two hours and I am done constructing the wig. Yeah. So, um, if it's completely a disaster, we'll just have to remake it. But if it's not, I think we might be in business. So I'm going to take it off the wig stand and we're going to cut the cap, the excess cap off. I tried it on already. It was so tight. Um, but I think it, it just, it needs to have the excess cap cut off. So then it will be like not so tight. But yep, yeah, we're going to cut this portion off right here. It literally looks like there's nothing there. According to Slay by Jordan, I don't need all that cap. So um, I'm going to take my cap and I'm going to cut it. So um, here's, I'm about to show you how I actually get these wigs on my head. Um, this is what the inside looks like. It ain't the neatest thing ever, but it is what it is. I stopped caring. Um, I just kind of wanted it done because, oh my gosh. Big hair problems. Let's see if I got another one. I literally just pull it back. Sometimes I braid it back, but I feel like it's lumpier when I braid it. So I'm gonna pull it back and cap it. There, it's a mess in here. I wish y'all could see. I double cap it. Nice and tight. I'm gonna sew an elastic band into here, but not yet. Oh boy. Ho ho. Ho ho. My did something. Whoa. Yeah, definitely. I think I'm going to sew my elastic cap in here. Where is the middle? So what I'm going to do now is um, soak this middle part. I'm going to mold the middle part because I want a middle part. And this was the best hairline that I could find in that store. I'm going to plug it, but this was the best like off the rip. As far as the shape of the hairline, this was the best that I could find. It's really not bad. Like the hairline shape's not bad at all. Um, I personally kind of kind of like it. So this is a this is what the wig is looking like. Excuse the fact that my ponytail is in the back, but that's pretty much how it's gonna have to be because I have locks. Um, go on my nose. And the scalp came out decent, to be completely honest. Um, like after I bleached the knots, it did not look like super dense at all. So this is essentially what the wig is looking like. I'm kind of excited. Um, I don't want to be, I don't want to get too excited and then did not come out right. So yeah, I think I actually did it exactly how I was supposed to do it. Uh, shouts to me. It's not as long as I would like, but I mean, the hair is only 16 inches, so I don't know if I'm going to do a full ombre on this hair. I might just do a little bit of a highlight um, because I don't know. I feel like ombres are better for longer lengths of hair, so um, that'll probably be a very last minute decision, to be completely honest. Either I will or I won't. Um, everybody wants an ombre bun. But I knew that this hair was not that long. So I was like, I feel like 
highlights look better on all lengths of hair, but ombres look the best on really long hair. So I'm like, we could do like more of a balayage situation. Okay, excuse the fact that I look like a little bill right now, but I am so tired. Um, so I'm plucking the hairline right now. Uh, one side is completely done. The other side is like on the struggle bus. I don't really know. And it looks like I'm doing this like haphazardly, but I promise I'm not. So I need to keep going for sure. And I'm literally, if y'all can see, I tilt the camera down. Oh, ignore my bed. Um, I'm literally just plucking in a downward motion. And I'm a little bit too far back. Actually, I'm a little bit too far back. Plucking in a downward motion across the hairline. I'm not trying to bald it. Like, I'm really not. That's not the look that I like. Not the look that I'm going for. Um... I'm going to show y'all the other side. So this is how it looks right now. I think I'm going to leave it. Maybe I'm going to plug this part a little bit more. So I put it on my head to pluck it some more. And this is what the hairline's looking like. I'm honestly about to quit because I don't know, that side looks so good. Okay, so we're going to do a little bit more in here. I think it's good enough. What y'all think? I think it's good enough. Like for what I need it for. Because I know that it's going to recede over time and I don't want it to have a complete bald spot. Like, it's better to start off with less and work your way up to more. I'm done plucking for right now. This is like all the hair that I took out of it. Not, don't mind this. But this is about all the hair that I took out the hairline. It was literally like, like a straight across boy. Like, it was so bad. But it looks so much better now. It looks a lot better. So I'm gonna leave it alone for now. And then after I dye it, if it needs to be, it's still very dense, but like after I dye it, if it needs to be plucked some more, I will, I think I'm gonna pull it just a little bit more from right here. What's up y'all? We are back in the basement. <laughs> Things we're gonna do, one, ignore my hair because, <laughs> yikes. Um, So, after close Bruh. I hate this table it's not good for this but I don't want to drag my desk all the way downstairs and I'm not doing this in my room so I have to make it do what it does um after Careful consideration. I feel like the best option for me to do is more of like a balayage with like a little bit of highlight in the front. So let's see. I brought down the whole bag of tricks. I'm gonna be here for a while. Got combs, brushes, all that jazz. I'm gonna part out a small highlight piece in the front. I don't want it too big. I don't like when people have like that big patch of blonde in the front. I just want a little bit. But these are going to be like the brightest pieces. So these two right here. And I'm going to paint these with bleach and put them in a foil. So, and I'm going to stick with a shadow root. I don't want my roots completely bleached. I don't like that. Um, so yeah, let's get mixing up and then I'll come back and start applying. Okay, so pro tip. Um, I got this from Brad Mondo himself. If you mix 20 developer with 40 developer evenly and mix it with your powder bleach, you get 30. So now that I know that, my store never has 30 in the Clairol. So I'm just gonna start mixing 20 and 40. 
Um, so I'm gonna do this piece first because I want it to be the lightest and here goes nothing, Saints. Um, we went for a cake batter consistency. That's what uh, that's what we're gonna stick with today. And I'm not gonna paint all the way to the root, just almost to the root, not completely to the root. And I'm actually gonna use my hands a lot for this. So if y'all see me touch my hair, say, hey, just kidding, y'all are not here. Um, take my foil. But I have napkins, so we will be wiping off any excess bleach from our hands. I hope y'all can hear me. But I'm just gonna work and talk through the rest of it. I'm gonna section out the back. Um, kinda in almost by the left. Kinda by the left, kinda not by the left. I'm sorry y'all I had the most trash angle with this but essentially what I did was start applying the bleach at the ends and then kind of working my way up and then I'm attempting to balayage the hair um by painting like different levels of bleach into like a faded type motion um yeah and then I like rub it in with my hands and comb it through um to give the strands more dimension so it won't be patchy um and then at the end I put foils on like the very end parts that I did first so those would be a little bit lighter um than the top of the hair so still essentially kind of like an ombre effect but with more dimension than a typical ombre Okay, y'all, so the hair is processing pretty well. This is what it looks like right now. <laughs> exactly what I want it to look like. Um, I'm not sure how much longer I'm going to let it sit. Let's see what the ends are looking like. They're a little, they're getting a little dry, so I need to um, take some more bleach and reapply to the ends. Okay, so it's looking really good. This is how it looks. Oh, awkward, that's not supposed to be there. Um, when I rinse it, it will probably be a little bit darker than this, so I'm not sure if I should wait um, and maybe just do a second bleaching, but I don't really want it that light, so I think I'm going to go rinse it out. Uh, there's, like, no bleach in here. <laughs> Y'all, I'm ratchet. Like, I'm really just, like, throwing the bleach on here. Cause that's just that's just kind of how I wanted to do it. Like I've seen people do it like that, and it came out magnificent. Okay, so this is how it looks right now. I think I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna blow dry it and go back in with the bleach and just like comb it through because I have so much left and I feel like I might as well. But it depends on how I like it after I blow dry it. So if it looks bomb after I blow dry it, so far it looks really pretty we see um i did that low key okay so if it dries and it's the right color i'm gonna leave it alone if it's still too dark if it needs like more highlights towards the top i'm just gonna splash a couple more in there um i might have to make my money shot piece in the big in the middle uh, a little bit bigger because i only did like i did a very small section in the front to be yeah, I think I'm gonna put some more. Okay, so it came out really good. Like, this is what, <laughs> oh, this is what she looks like. I really like it, but I think it needs one more lift just towards the ends and like a little patch highlighting the front. Do we see the front? Okay. okay. Um,. This side, there's a lot of dimension. However, I'm gonna throw some more patch highlights in here. 
um, the top silhouette. So I'm gonna dry it a little bit more and then throw some highlights in. Okay, patch highlights. So let's do this because I wanna go to bed. Um, grab that bleach bag and ooh, that's looking a little fun over here. Um, just more towards the ends. Slam it on there. I'm not really caring too much about foil right now. I had to mute this part because this foil was sounding extra crunchy and extra obnoxious. So, you know, enjoy me talking to you instead. Okay, so... For the back, I'm literally just gonna comb them in. Um, I'm gonna... I'm trying to make sure I have enough in the front. I think I do. Is that enough? Yeah, I don't want to do more than that. I think it'll be too much. And you know what's crazy? This hair is not even brassy for real. Like, I'm scared that if I lift it again, it's going to be brassier. But it really didn't turn orange. Like, it's like a beautiful color. Like I said, I'm just going to spot a couple highlights out. money pieces oh shoot okay turn around to the front that's enough y'all seen enough okay so i just threw some bleach on the ends honestly i don't even want it that light on the ends i'm probably just gonna go wash it out because i may have made a big mistake so i'm just kind of brushing so i don't get clumps And I'm, I'm going to wash it out because I feel like I've done enough. I don't want to do too much more with it and ruin it. So, uh, my money pieces look good. So, I'm going to leave them alone. So, it is the next day. And, um, yeah, I'm tired. I went to bed at, like, 2. Um, why? I don't know. Like, I'm just if i start something i have to finish it and i'm not even done i purchased some purple shampoo whoever told me shimmer lights cheap no, it's fine. um but aussie moisture has a purple shampoo that apparently works really well so i bought that from target i have to go do a drive up and get that um but this is what the hair is looking like uh right now it is a little too orange for what I was going for. This is what it looks like pulled down to the side. It is really pretty, but I think that if I put the purple shampoo... Okay, so this is the side that I think I low-key messed up because it looks like that. Like, pulled forward, it looks like that. Pulled back, looks like that. Like, it's still... It's fine, but it's not like as good as the other side, but I don't really care at this point. Um, I am just going to get the purple shampoo and let it sit for maybe like two hours to see if it can like ash this out a little bit. So um, I put the purple shampoo in the hair. I'm going to let it sit for a couple hours and see if it does anything. If it doesn't, that's fine. I'll just dye it down the road a different color, but yeah we'll see if this works okay so this is what the hair looks like after it sat with the purple shampoo this is like the only section that i feel like it did something to and a little bit in the front it's like those blonde pieces are more of a true blonde now instead of like yellow um honestly i feel like i would need to let it sit like overnight for it to look drastically different but Nah, whatever. I'll just dye it again down the road at some point. But for now, I don't mind the color. So this is how the hair looks. Um, styled, blow-dried, um, flat ironed, and curled. It actually is a little bit more honey than, you know, I originally anticipated. However, 
um i was expecting for it to come out a little bit more golden i'll put a picture of like what the color i was really going for was um so considering that the back hair and the frontal hair um are not the same hair it does blend well however if you can see um the frontal portion is the part that's more um coppery and then the back is like more of a true honey color but like yeah it did turn a little bit more like brownie honey after i brownie honey alrighty. um it did turn a little bit more brown after i put the purple shampoo but as you can see the frontal part is the part that's more coppery red so um honestly i could just bleach this front portion a little bit more to get a better color but i actually really like it and my mom thought it was cute <laughs> ignore my wig stand because it is ratchet all right um and yeah this is the end of the video um Stay tuned to watch me apply it in the next part. Um, but yeah, y'all be blessed and stay safe.